Nice. All right, we're gonna start over. Uh-huh. Right. Give us a clap. All right, so Todd and Aaron morning. St I, no, I'm not going there. I'm not allowed to go there. She's put, sending hey, you there. over there. Oh, all right. I, it's members only. Look at me. Good morning. Welcome to the Todd and Aaron morning stream. Oh. We're about to go on the Todd and Aaron morning stream road trip edition. This where is we great. Revisit some of your favorites from Facebook Live. Thank you, by the way, for this morning. Oh, Mary, you're cool already thing. on. So I got Susie. Bill's credit card. <laughs> where did you get Bill's credit card? He left his door unlocked. Give it to me. No. It's a road trip funding thing. Well, at least present okay. it as a visual aid. No, I can't. They'll write the number down. I know. It'd be funny. <laughs> hey, why is there sixteen thousand right, dollars worth so of charges? This is the this is our show. Uh, it's a road show. We're doing all requests to Facebook, all requests road show, road trip thing. That's yes. really smooth. So we're we're gonna go get a car wash. We're gonna pick up some snacks, and we're gonna be showing you some stuff. And by the way, we let everybody know on Facebook that uh, we asked you to pick out your best thing that you wanted to see again on the show. And so uh, that's that's what we're going to do. Uh, but first, we're going to wash the car. Always the best. Hi Good there. Morning. Our, uh, the deluxe. The deluxe. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I like it. No, people call it that. Do they? Yeah. Oh. So it's 16 for a single wash. We have something also that we're doing for our customers right now. We're uh -huh. going to pay 32 bucks to toss in two Platinums. You can wash as many times as you want for a month. Unlimited. Now we're not on salary yet. Let's do the let's do the thirteen. Oh and we'll, man! And we'll, I know. Do you want the thirteen or the sixteen? Sixteen. All right. Yeah. Any coupons, right. Cash or credit cards. Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna keep that. <laughs> Have a good day. Stay cool. Okay, we're waiting for the gate to open. When's the last time we took a road trip? You know, it's been forever. I used to take these with my sisters all the time. Right. We'd be like just a box of Cap'n Crunch and then a case of Diet Coke. Right. We usually went down but where Mom grew up. My mother, she grew up in Hurricane. And there's all kinds of great town names around there like Virgin. So you always have to stop and take a picture under the town sign just on principle because it's funny. Right, right. And there's, boy, there's all kinds of ones. And they're like there's weird mountain ranges around there. So it's like you have to stop at every weird sign and take a picture with it. You have no idea how bored and lonely all the frontiersmen were when they they founded this part of the country. Oh, I, I bet they were. Mm -hmm. That's R all I'm saying. Uh, we used to play. We used to play slug bug, and that's back when. Uh, what do you mean folks, used to? You've punched me in the arm more times than I can count on a road trip. We, we don't play padiddle anymore. Padiddle is. I think it's called padiddle, isn't it? That doesn't sound right. So what is that? So one headlight's out. And coming oh. at you. Then what do you do? Yeah. Uh, you, you, you punch someone. That sounds like something my family would be doing too. That's and what, great. Did you do the thing where you drove by a cemetery? What would you do if you drove by a cemetery? I don't know. We used to play animal vegetable mineral. Where you'd no, pick you something and you'd have to guess what it was. You drive by a cemetery, you have to hold your breath the whole time. Why? Because you'll die. If you hold your breath long and enough, yeah. And then if you go over a bridge, you have to hold your feet up. You Easterners are so weird. It's all science. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? While we're waiting here, why don't we uh, let's go to go to the phone and see what somebody wanted. Oh, okay. Oh, good morning, Marianne. She wanted to know. Um, oh, I know. No, Daisy isn't in the car yet. Have you noticed that Daisy has like all of her own special favorite crowd now? Yeah, I know. I they'll like be it. on our page, and they'll like go, "Good morning, it. Daisy. You look so pretty today." And I'm like, well, "Why don't you just go on Daisy's page and tell her there?" All right, stop moaning. But, oh, oh, Marianne wanted to know about the rompers. The, oh, do you remember, remember the rompers from oh, yeah. the most right, hideous right. fashion trend of 1970, uh, 2017? But you know what? If you're gonna break them out, now is the time. I suppose so. All right, hang on one second. You guys ready? Rompers, right? Okay. All right, hit it. Enjoy. I don't know how to prepare you for this. Fashion goes through a lot of different things. Fashion changes, and some more dramatic than others. Skinny jeans, I think, was pretty dramatic. Especially for guys. I don't know how. That you, was a hard one to pull I don't know off. How they put them on? Yeah, that you must lay on a bed. They do that, yes. Uh huh. No. Polar. Yeah, yeah. They talked a lot about that. Thirty seconds to Mars. The whole band would like squeeze on the skinny jeans, and they talked about how they'd have to hop up and down and padded shoulders. That uh -huh. was kind of a big thing for women's jackets. The eighties thing, yes. The uh -huh. gigantic shoulders you'd have to turn sideways to get through. The Flash door. dance off the shoulder. I still wear that. Is that out of date? No, it's awesome. Okay. <laughs> Leg warmers. I don't know where that comes from. I still from. love those. I don't there it care. is. Rompers. Man, these are hard to pull off unless no. you're that model. They're kind of cute. 
No, yeah. you're right. That's not. I, I can't picture walking down yeah. the street in those. Well, it does get those worse. Those are cuter. There. Yeah. Yeah, but those are cuter. It gets worse. How so? Here we go. <laughs> oh my good lord! No, no, not for men. <coughs> no, no. And that guy's wearing a fur jacket and then rompers. More, more pictures. You know they're all wearing sunglasses because they're embarrassed to be seen with their rompers. <laughs> is what they're. Wow, that's not good. Who's gonna wear those? I mean, it's not even with a belt. Someone with a very specific sense of humor, because the rest of us will be going, "What? What do you have on?" And we have some strange friends who wear onesies. But yeah, that's they for, look kind of adorable. That's kind them. of a party thing. You go in a party dressed up crazy, but rompers. You know, that's a hard one to hang on your masculinity with that. I got to be honest with you. And here's the funny thing: it was a, a Kickstart program. Mm -mm. They, they were on Kickstarter. No. Did people even donate to that abomination? Yeah, in like half a day, they already reached ten thousand dollars, which is what they were asking. I guess if you have a great sense of humor, that's entertaining. And then fashion right? horror was developed. And horror put out, with an H O R R O. Yeah, that one. R horror. Just horrible. Hands off the wheel. Hands Get off, off the, the wheel. Cows. It's like being at the Wee. amusement park. All right, so we're getting our car washed. The road trip continues. Uh, this is actually the beginning. Uh, this, this is my is favorite exciting. part. The multicolored uh, foam. It's like a unicorn just pooed on her car. I love it. You know, it's so beautiful when you put it like that, honey. So, uh, the rompers. Okay, so those are back in the fashion world, right? Yeah, the Kim Jong Un rompers. Remember those? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the most troubling thing I've ever seen. You know, when I, you know, when I owned my older cars when I was growing up and stuff, um, I, I, every time I went through one of these, crap would fall off my car. And I, I kid you not, I lost an entire windshield wiper. Not not just the blade that I lost two rear view mirrors and an antenna. That's when you know when your car's old. But maybe it's just, just stuff's... a little too late for you to be trying the, right? real, the real nice route with that. So anyway, okay, so um, Bigfoot, let's Ooh, talk about... the hot shine. Ooh, the hot shine. The hot shine. Okay, so usually we make out in car washes. I don't feel comfortable. Really, I, I... Wait, wait, another unicorn. Mmm, <laughs> it's the glowing unicorn. It's like a peed on, is that thing? All right, stop it. All right, stop so anyway, obsessions. Bigfoot. Uh, the guy, uh, fell. Uh, Bigfoot uh, fell in love with him. He was his love slave. He said that he held story? him captive, right? Right, right. I can't remember right. the full detail. Do you have the Bigfoot stuff ready to run? Okay. What? What? Honey, you don't have anything in your ear. I know, but everybody does this. you pretended to use the other Roll the time. Bigfoot! Go get him. Oh, the blow dryer. Okay, now you're going to have to explain this to me because I refuse to accept this as a real story. Even Guy in Colorado, he's in the mountains. He's going up to his cabin to see if it survived the winter. And there he goes along and suddenly he is attacked. Let's oh go my down God. the list. A bear? No. Yeah, because they're out in spring and they're all hungry and mm, pissed off. And Mountain lion? No. Venomous squirrels? No. <laughs> Something took his pants off. What? Something took his pants off. Sasquatch. Seriously? There's the guy. You're going to you're going to deliver this story with a straight face. Well, he did. <laughs> he, he was he's, he's claiming on camera that uh, Sasquatch tried to get uh, familiar with him. Oh, man. Right? And then our and then our producer Brandon said, "Wouldn't he pick someone better looking?" <laughs> well, Sasquatch, you know there's a lot of campers coming back for this season. It's not like he couldn't have selected some it proves it proves that that Sasquatch is a, a, a bad person because and desperate. He, he can't get his own girlfriend or friend or boyfriend in this case. So he has to resort to humans. <laughs> he took my pants off. Is there anything other quotes you'd like to share? No. No, please go ahead. He was working on his underwear. It was at least eight foot tall and its punches hurt like hell. Now, I was knocked funny? right out at the first blow. Isn't it funny that every time you talk about someone who's a uh, uh, Bigfoot, you go into Southern accent? <laughs> what could be rural of Utah? Look at there. He's a big hair guy. He didn't even buy me presents or flowers. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See, in my old cars, this would have broken the windshield. Hey, you know what we're really missing, though, for this what? road trip? What are, what are we missing? Snacks. Snacks. We have to have some snacks. Let's get some snacks. Okay. We have uh, french fries in the back floor from the kids. We can do that. That's almost the same. Okay, I love you. 
All right, let's go. Todd Nair and Morning Street, GibbardDaily.com. I sound like Rod Decker. Ah. <laughs> I always worry about this part when you, when you put in gear. When you go. When, There's a level of pressure like now, yeah, when, now, 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 is it now, 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 is it now? All right. Okay. Uh, no light went on. Food. Let's go. Waste not, want not. You know, we really are right by all the vacuum cleaners. Food. Get all those fries off the floor. Food. Come on. Where's the food? Did you get? Oh, got, oh my gosh. I got some snacks. You got? I got some, I got, I'll take that. Thank you. I got some snacks. Yeah. Snacks are brought to you today on the Todd and Aaron Morning Stream by All Utah Heating, Plumbing, and Air. If you have 20 hour for service needs, go to allutahplumbing.com. Guess who else I found? What? Daisy! Daisy! What's Daisy doing here? Hi, honey! <laughs> Hi! Here I am! I just happen to be here. We, here we can't have, we can't have a right here, Daisy. So we can see you. Sit in the middle. Oh, sit in the middle. Okay. Daisy is brought to you by Robert J. DeBryan Associates. If you need help, you can go to one of their offices in Sandy, St. George, and Salt Lake City, or go to robertdebry.com. All right, so let's uh, look. We got teriyaki. Uh, oh. You know, I have to tell have you. Have you had jerky before? No. Uh, well, a bit. I've had vegetarian jerky. That now, doesn't count. You may know that we've been That's... doing a challenge between Daisy and us that she brings us British food that we are forced to consume that we may not have tried before. You'll see it in the show. And we've done things with her uh, American variety, for instance, called Pop-Tarts, which she was not a fan of. Today, I have brought Funyuns. Wait, wait. Let's start up with the uh, teriyaki. Yeah. Okay. So do you swallow this? Eventually, but I would not chew right first. away. It kind of dissolves. You'll see. It's like a sneaker. Huh? Can I spit it out? <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. All right, strap in. We've got more food to no. try okay, on you, honey. So, so, that, no. so that's not that's any good. No. That's a no. Okay, no, so okay. Um, would you check? Oh, yeah, Funyuns. She's going to be trying Funyuns and Pineapple Fanta oh, today. See, that as our good. American that looks good. Yeah. All right. God, um, you're so cute and you're trusting. Where's your list? <laughs> where's that list you had? It's right here. Okay, so mm -hmm. uh, check Facebook. Uh, oh, yeah, we've been talking to everybody on Facebook yeah. today. Basically, this is the All Request Road Trip. What would you like to see today? Right. Some of the other favorites. And, mm. oh, uh, also, I have to thank Executive uh, Transportation. Executive Transportation, amazing for a night out or just simply a trip to the airport. You can go to executiveutah.com. Could have used them. Why are we in our car? Have you noticed the air conditioning mm, doesn't work? It's warm in here. That's okay. <laughs> it's moving around. Nice and uh. snug. You know, before we try Daisy on the Funyuns, though, I do think we need to revisit that beautiful moment when Daisy brought in a long-held British delicacy. Oh. Long-held? Mm. Yeah, and we didn't remember mm. what it was called until you showed us the can because we didn't believe you. All right, roll the can of you-know-what. Yeah. Yeah. Our very own Daisy has a surprise for us. Really? Yeah, and she says it's some food or something. Let me. Let me I have it. a terrible feeling this is going to be vengeance based no, because we made her eat the pop tarts. You know oh my gosh, that yeah. looks great. Yeah. Do you Hi, have a can for that? Yeah. Oh, I'll go and get yeah, the I'll, can. I'll, I'll, I'll get the can. You sit down. Oh, look, and she's right. got a little garnish. There you go. Now, I thought maybe you were going to hold this against us because we had made you try Pop Tarts and they weren't heated or anything. And I was a little. And you decorated right. it with Sit down. dots. I decorated right. so, it with dots. Okay, everybody move over a little. Yeah, yeah, everyone's scared. So that's it. so sweet. Let me show this. this. Let me show this to everyone. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wait, that needs a close up. What's that on top? Um, Dots. She did a little extra decoration. I did it. I went the extra mile. That's because that's who you are, baby. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Doesn't wow. that look? And this is English? Yes. Oh. Would you like to know the name of it? Well, of Wait, course. Let me, uh, let me get over. <clears throat> that looks so, lovely. You brought this from England. Spoons for everyone. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. And what is it? This is Spotted Dick. Now I did, I did kind of weigh up because it's quite a hot day outside. Whether we would want to eat hot spotted dick on a day that's ninety-eight degrees, mm -hmm. but I think it's so delicious mm -hmm. that you know I, I think we should try it because also can? it's cooling off. Oh wait, I just <clears throat> it's the spotted dick is cooling off. Uh, the reason the reason that I um, put these little garnishes on it as well is because I don't know whether you can see this, but this dick is not totally straight. It's um, just kind of um, a little kind of, it's, it's, uh, it's SQ. 
It's yeah. slightly askew. The, the does your fa- is askew. Does your, is your family, they like spotted dick? They do. Yeah, we do at Christmas. Erin, why don't you start first? I will be the first to holidays. try the dick. It's, oh, it's holidays? So it's a festive it's spotted a, dick. It's a festive spotted yeah. dick. Yeah. What is the spot? Why aren't you eating? Oh, I'm going to. Okay. Um, the raisins. Um, but the, oh. the best thing about this is that if you ask anyone, um, if, and if you ask an English person, um, right. why is it called spotted dick? They'll yeah. be like, well, because it has raisins in it. Right. And then if you say, right, but... Right. They'll, they'll just say, well, because it has raisins. Pick your spoon back up. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh-huh. Now... The How dick is surprisingly delicious. Now, this it? came out of a can, right? So, I'm sure they make it fresh as well. Mm-hmm. Do you like the spotted dick out of a can? Or like your mom makes it in the kitchen or something? Well, Does I mean, your mom make spotted dick? I don't know if my mom can make spotted dick. Hmm. I, I, I don't know. The thing is about this can, that as you can see, mm-hmm. it's premium quality dick. Well, you know, I think that's the most important part. Mm-hmm. Why what would are you the waste ingredients? time on anything less important? Right. right. Mm-hmm. Oh, right. you like it. I, she does. The, How, the dick is surprisingly delicious. How do you feel not. about the temperature? Is it too cool now, or is it still pretty warm? Lightly it's spongy. Like one mm-hmm. pudding. Dick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was established in 1910, so this is like historical. This spotted dick was established in 1910. Yeah, 1910. This is an old spotted dick. No, dick. not not this. This is a new dick. <laughs> See, <laughs> this yeah. Is, <clears throat> no, this other stuff is... Well, thank you so... Oh, I think we should all take another bite. Yeah, let's mm. take another bite. Right. Would you like a little bowl, too? No, I'm just going to go with one of the spots. Would you like a, would you like a bite that, that would be. Be lovely. Both dick and, mm. and dot. <laughs> <laughs> Winner! <laughs> Spotted dick. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. oh, and that's real. We did get some comments on that. We did. It yeah. is. It yeah, is. yeah. It's a long held tradition. You, you said. usually get comments on your spot to dick. Yeah. I think it's when you put in the little. The little sweet little dot balls on top for decoration. That was the breaking point. It really was. You guys lost it. All right, so so what else do we have? No, no, that's too common. I've had, no, I've had a rough. I've I've had had many of those when I've been crying while eating. Yeah, we've all had those moments. How about this? Oh, before we go that, though, you need to tell them about all you tough plumbing, heating, and air. Oh, okay. uh, If you have plumbing problems, uh, there's one guy you should call, John. You've seen him on the show quite a bit. Um, He's a really nice guy. Honesty is his whole thing, and he's got this saying that's like, Uh, He wants to heal your home. So if you've got things that are broken, the plumbing, the heating, the air conditioning, we could use that right now because it's a little warm in here. Um, You can give them a call at All Utah Plumbing, Heating, and Air, and they'll take care of everything you need. All right, so now, Funyuns. All right. Daisy, I thought the easiest way to do this was to introduce you to a beverage, a long-held beverage of our youth, which would be Fanta. This is the pineapple flavor. Fanta. You see, this looks nice. And I noticed it has no caffeine. And it's, mm-hmm. and it's a color Which is not bad. found. It's a <laughs> color not found in nature. No, definitely not found in now, nature. Now, I thought what we could do is you could try the Funyuns first. Oh, you want me to have a Funyun followed by yeah. And yeah. then you can wash Fanta. it down by... All right. I was trying to think whether Funyun was spelled with an F or a PH, where it was like fat, and they were like Funyuns. But no, it's spelled with an F. I was right, trying to see the pattern. I'm going to watch this one. Go ahead. Have this is fun. Look. It is. It's like a little shower curtain. Back to ring. the 80s with a single earring. Okay. Huh? It's almost like an onion ring, except for there's no it's actual it's onion. It's almost like food. In I've it. never been so in love. Really? <laughs> These are good. Are you wow. Kidding? These are good. I thought you'd spit that out like toddler food. Really? Right, now, now you have to take a sip because I'm going to hop out at this light with my funyuns and spend no. the rest of the day right here on this intersection. Oh, there's a Starbucks. See, that would be so bad. <laughs> That's real food. We're not doing that. Okay, Fanta. Right, uh, she, oh. Now she's at the Fanta. Okay. Mm, enjoy that. I think it was your lurching oh, start. Oh, I love this. No, that was Todd's lurch. This, the band is good. Yeah. So, really? Mm. So you have, we have two hits now. So yeah. the pineapple fun, uh, Fanta and the Funyuns mm-hmm. were actually a hit right. for Daisy. Definitely and then a hit. coming up, we've got the, the Slim Jim named Sasquatch. What do you do with that? <laughs> okay. Well, uh, you know what we should do? 
I remember the night. Uh, what was the? Oh no, KFC things. The KFC bench. Bob wanted to see this. Hang on a second. Yeah, no, it's a KFC. Yeah, see, it, it, you, every one of us has had that moment where it doesn't matter how strong you are, you suddenly remember that food and you're broken. You're just a broken you can't man. Stop. Todd ran out of the house one night at 10 o'clock, and this is what happened. <clears throat> now, what got into you the other night? Because, like, I don't think I've consumed this food item. I, uh, you, a lot I of can't people. even remember the last time I had <clears throat> this food item, actually. Yeah, a lot of times, uh, some people, when they have a, a stressful day emotionally, which I did, comfort food, yeah. People looking for comfort food. And suddenly, I'm not sure because we talked a little bit about this the other day, mm -hmm. Kentucky Fried Chicken um, popped in my mind. And let me say that I haven't eaten Kentucky I can't remember Fried the last chicken. time we've consumed. Ten years? It's 11 herbs and spices. Eight. You still crave it fortnightly. I mean, fortnightly. It's, it's what it is. Thank you. I married an axe murder reference. Um, I, suddenly, I had to, and it was like quarter of ten, and no, they, they probably closed, like most people, at ten or whatever, and I so got my car. you got your car, foot on the gas, and you're going. I ripped down there, and I got it, uh, and they said, and th this is how long it's been. They said, you want extra crispy, and I didn't even, I sure. sure so you I don't did. even know about the Kentucky gold recipes yet, do you? I don't. Oh, I and know. so uh, I drove home with that aroma, and it was like, and the, and the mashed potatoes, which are, I don't know where they come from. And the gravy and the They're coleslaw, lovely. and I got home and I and laid biscuits. it out, and I just started eating, and it was just that it, first bite though when you when you break into the crunchy right the crunchy surface. Right. I could hear my heart slowing down. <laughs> I was like, "Where are you going? What? What's 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 going on here? I'm a vampire." <laughs> um, and I gotta say. So I'm eating this, right? And of course it's great. It's delicious. And I'm taking bite after bite, and I took some of the crispiness. And I don't know how they make it crispy unless they take a chicken, and it puts a chicken skin suit on over its <laughs> own, and then they deep fry it. Because I don't know where all that skin comes from. But you know, I squeezed some of it, and you could just the goodness started rolling down mm, my fingers. Don't, and, don't even examine it that closely. Just enjoy it. And I felt guilty. I felt horribly did guilty. I did feel a little dirty. And, yeah. and then all of a sudden, you know, after 10 minutes, I found some meat, and I felt so much better because I said, okay, all this Christmas is actually around the chicken. And it was just it was delicious. Um, don't you remember that story that came out? I think uh, it was like three years ago where they said that they were actually running a new line of Kentucky Fried Chicken product, they would be just skin. They would just be strips of the crispy chicken skin. Was that true? The internet went nuts. People were like, we're going to get it. We're going to get it. When is it coming out? I want it. I want it. I want it. And they went, right. oh, this was just a hoax story. And they were like, what? What are you talking about? I was totally ready for the chicken chicken. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you know, I can't blame you, though. Every single one of us needed those KFCs by then. My gosh. Right? But, you know, if you go at night, though, it's limited what you can get. Oh, because it's just whatever's left out of the fryer? Right. I still appreciated every bit of it, especially the almost all crust and skin KFC. Oh my god. With minimal chicken. No, no meat whatsoever. That was really my favorite. Just skin and bones. You know, probably this isn't the wisest time for me to be doing this, but coming up next after the break, we're gonna oh. be Oh, was that okay. the, that was a request, wasn't it? Oh come it? on, Susie, that's just not nice. Susie wants us to show Oh yeah. Do you remember the video uh, of me in the Marchetti jet? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I that did. worked out right. <laughs> yeah. You may not want to eat next. It's coming up next. See you in a minute. Todd and Aaron's Morning Stream, brought to you by Black Diamond Experts. Electric, plumbing, heating, and air conditioning. You'll be glad you called an expert. The Law Offices of Robert J. DeBry and Associates, with offices in Salt Lake City, Sandy City, and St. George. Check them out at robertdebry.com. The Todd and Aaron Morning Stream is actually available anytime at gepharddaily.com. Just click on the Todd and Aaron page. Okay, this is my favorite part of the show now. Uh, who did this? Bob? Uh, That's just mean spirited. Bob, Bob requested this on Facebook uh, for the, our special road trip show. This was our special Marchetti Jet episode. Here if it you is. haven't seen it, it's pretty amazing. Here it is. We found uh, in a box, brand new one, a VHS player. And I don't know if you, you even have one anymore. But I don't think you can even get them at like Desert Industries because I've tried before. Once in a while you can find them. But, uh -huh. but a lot of people have the tapes sitting around, right? Just have the tapes sitting around and they don't know, uh, you know, I have a player for them. And now I have a player. So we hitched it up to the TV and then we turned it on and it was amazing what we saw. Really? It was absolutely amazing. I mean, th think of all the things that we looked at. Us vacationing. Uh, is the ground of my heading? 
Maintain via Farnhart 5500. Departure frequency is uh, 120.9er. And squawk 0160. I'm sorry? Oh, no, I did. Oh, I remember right him so screaming like a nut job because oh. he did a hammerhead right after this where he so goes up straight up this, and comes straight this down. This is what they do. The uh -huh. person you shoot has to go and do a maneuver. A maneuver. They go up and they do a hammerhead and they go down. So that was so epic. It's really fun when you're watching someone do that. But then the next scene you're going to see, Aaron, I don't think you've seen this in a long time. I'm not sure I have either. Because you get shot. But before you do, you're trying to uh, 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 evade them. Now, so you're going to make some drastic moves here. Okay. Drastic moves. Now, look, you're going straight up. See the tail behind you? Oh, you're no, going straight epic. up, straight up, straight up. Watch your face. Watch your face. Watch your face right there. Oh, no. That is the moment of no return. I just remembered. <sighs> See the breathing? Yeah. Shut up, you guys! Okay, just keep, <laughs> keep, keep watching. You're looking a little... Shut up! Shut up. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. I got this. Looking out the window. <laughs> Breathing. Okay. <laughs> Not looking good. Ooh, a little lightheaded. Oh, this. Do you really have wait, to narrate wait. this? Oh, breathing again. <laughs> the, the demise of my wife. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Try to no. Oh, God, please tell yeah. me I didn't do this uh, on camera. Yeah. Oh, please, oh head Lord. back. That's not a good sign. Please. I'm saying, like, oh, God. God don't let me do this on make camera. Make me okay. I'll never fly again. Hands off the stick. All right. Whoa. Leaning forward. Don't. Oh, God. You're asking him quietly in your mic. Shut up, you guys. <laughs> Is there anything I can use in this cockpit? Because I'm about to mess up your He's having to stabilize, too. So it's, uh, Watch the face. Hey, we're throwing a bunch at you at once. Whenever you're doing these pulling turns and so forth, I mean, it's a lot. It's a lot. Oh, yeah. This is like a big Saturday night. you have an air sickness bag? Yeah, there's a bag right there. Push the mic up out of your way. She gets the bag. Oh there you God, go. Oh, God, you can see it on camera. <laughs> and he's laughing. No, he's making sure you're okay. Oh, uh, wait, let's see that again in slow motion. <laughs> oh, no. no. <laughs> again. No, oh, no, don't, my don't gosh. do it again. Oh. Oh, again. Will you cut that out, Richard Brandon? Stop. <laughs> oh. Oh, <laughs> oh! <laughs> you know, you know, it was a really good part you didn't get to hear is he quietly said, "Move the microphone," because it's sitting right there like this. He goes, "Just kind of move it down before you do that." Okay, now I'm gonna make you feel better, my dear wife, my dear wife, <laughs> and I, I'm gonna make you feel better, and, and I want everybody to notice this. My wife just went flying, dog fighting, upside down. Did all these things. Lost her lunch. They land. They taxi back to the hangar. And like every scene in any movie, when a woman, a hot woman, takes her helmet off, this is what you see. Well, thanks for flying with us. You did a good job. Four three three one seven four. We're ready. My favorite part was when Richard redid it and he had me throwing up in slow motion. <laughs> that too. Thanks, Richard. My other part I'll was remember that. When you, when you asked him, when he asked him, did Todd throw up? No. Thank you. You're welcome. Here, yeah. it's like jewelry and licorice, Daisy. Try it. What are you making her eat now? It's the licorice rope. Remember, we had these as kids and you'd wrap around your neck like a scarf? Not bad, wow, right? Wow, it's okay. Not the best, but you have to admit, as jewelry, put it over your neck and maybe that will are help. You like I'll tie it, doing the thing. I don't like sticky things on it's my like neck. An <laughs> it's like an ascot. Oh. It's like wearing an eel. Yeah, do you have the do you have the candle necklaces in London, in Britain, where you eat a few of them and then oh, your neck gets all yeah, sticky? Absolutely. But you can't stop because even though you know your neck's going to get sticky, but it's sitting right there, right? I love it. Okay, now I feel constrained. <laughs> That's really more of a... Like, Less of a fashion accessory, more of a lifestyle choice. Like That's like being better. attacked by Willy Wonka. That's a lot better. In bondage. 
All right, I'm just curious. You said that you had some dates in history. Oh, yeah. What is this, a test? What are you oh, doing? By the way, these dates in history by Daisy are brought to you by Executive Utah. If you want to go to executiveutah.com, you'll find that executive transportation can take you anywhere in March's sweet fleet of Escalades. Also brought to you by Black Diamond Electric Plumbing, Heating, and Air with 24-hour service and the print books that they will not change. Good job. All right. Give me a date. Well, how are we going to play? How do we play I'm going to tell you what happened, and you have to give me a date. Okay. Okay? Okay. We should head up the canyon. Um, the air would be faster. Okay, and I have no idea. If you can answer this, I will just be impressed okay. forever. Um, give me a day. Okay. When did, so it's it's today, July 3rd. Uh -huh. Okay. The Battle of Gettysburg ended. Yeah. 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 About noon. It was about, yeah. about you mean you want the exact time? I don't think they no, told us. No, the year. The year. But oh, it was, it was um, a Tuesday. <laughs> and it was noonish. Because it was so hot, and they went, oh, let's just go home. Was it 18... Uh, 54? <gasps> wow. Really that, close. That, that was a guess. 1863. <laughs> I wasn't that close. That was good. Not really. Uh, another one? Okay, this amazes me. When did the Dow Jones publish the first stock index? Oh, 19, oh, 1936. Uh, 1884. No that way. was my next guess. Yeah, that doesn't sound right. No. That early. I didn't even know America had been invented by them. Right? How do you feel? Okay, so let's talk about this. Fourth of July, and any bad feelings? Any bad feelings about the colonies here leaving? Uh, oh, I was going to go straight to whether I enjoyed parties on the Fourth of July. I, I don't speak colonies and all that because I'm British, and that would make me nervous because it might be like an emotional right thing. Oh, okay, I get it. All right, so uh, parties. Gender. I will tell okay. you, growing up, my um. Because you know my mom is actually American. It's right. still hard for me to believe. Yeah, so go, when, I, when we were growing up in England, of course, 4th of July doesn't exist, but we would always have a big 4th of July party. Good for her. Because she would throw an American party every 4th of July. I like but that. It wasn't political. It was more like, you know, lots of stars and stripes. Not really a statement, just kind of more decor and pie. And, 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 like pie then so i've got a couple more for you on here i'd like to All see right. whether you get these ones right. All right i think you might these are more recent i'm doing pretty good so far so when did the doors release light my fire oh 1965 wait wait i'm gonna go 1966. okay do you want to give one more answer 1972. No, no, you jumped. You jumped. Oh, 1962. 67. Ah, ah, that was my next guess. We suck. But we what do. about this? Erin, I expect you to get this immediately. All right, I'll let her do it. When did New Kids on the Block release Hanging Tough? Hang Tough? <laughs> hang Tough or Hanging Tough? Hang uh, I, think it was hang, I think it was Hang Tough. Hang um, Tough. Wasn't that 1991? No, it was earlier. 87? <gasps> so close. We suck at this. Go between the two that you 89? said. 89? Yes. Yay, I'm almost yes. not stupid. No, we suck at this. This is horrible. You're supposed to get at least one. I, I'll give you one last chance. All right. Okay. just yes or no. All right. All right. Um, is it or is it not Tom Cruise's birthday today, mm. July 3rd? No, he's born no. on the 4th. No. That's why the movie Born on the 4th of July had that whole extra marketing element, because he actually was born on the 4th no, of July. No, he, he was actually adopted. And so no one knows his true birthday. I, do you know that trick? He wasn't me. found. He wasn't found on a doorstep, Tony. He, he, I think he might have been. He's strange. <laughs> it's like our dog. It is July fourth, though, right? We got well, Google told me it was July third, but I think they might be confused because I thought he was born on the fourth. What? What is well. his? What is his real name? Oh, Matt Thomas Cruz Manpather. Bingo. The fifth. I think. Shut up! I would so change my last name if it was Manpowder too. It's like really. Man, Manpow what? Manpow Ma Manpowder, I believe. But he, isn't he like the fifth or mm -hmm. the third or? Well, that's kind of snotty. The forty seventh of. Are you sure you didn't want one? They're delicious. No, I've got my I've got my bunions no. tucked. Who ordered the Doritos with nacho cheese? Oh, I have had those before. Quite a few of those. Oh, give me well. the, the, the oh, that. Slim yeah. Jim. Okay. Slim Jim. Is it a Slim Jim or is it not brand? Because the knockoffs are as good as. Oh, and then we'll talk about the fashion thing. Oh, by the way, I would like to point out that uh, these Slim Jims are brought to you. Rob, Robert J. DeBryan Associates with offices in Sandy, Salt Lake City, and St. George. You can go to robertdebry.com for more information. Here, sweetheart. Oh, thank you. And opening them is the part of the heart thing. That's really the challenge. And don't squeeze it really hard because the fat squishes out. I have a question. Right. Mm -hmm. Why does this say beast mode on it? 
Uh, I don't really feel like that really? part's important. Go up there. We can go up the canyon. Yeah, it's cooler. Oh. Sorry. All right. While Daisy's trying to open up the Beast Mode beef stick, um, I, oh, yeah, of course we can do that. Susie I, on I Facebook just, wanted to know right. if we could redo the LED. Uh, from new accessory. It's the newest accessory from in the club scene. Todd's team. Fashion Corner. Here it is. There's something new. And they're called F latch lashes. F F lashes. lashes. Take a look. What the heck is that? <laughs> His eyes are growing, glowing. I mean, they're, yeah. Wow. Yeah, they're LEDs. <gasps> That's why they look so freaky. Okay. That's right. And they come look in pink, red, blue, light blue, yellow, white, and green. Wow. Plus, you can set them on a feature where they change colors as they go. His pupils are gigantic. I wonder if his poor eyes are trying to that's adjust to the LED. Like, what the heck is it doing to me? It's because he's on LSD, and that's how he came up with the idea. Wow, look the, at that. I would totally get those for a club night. There is a small... Ugh. No, they're cool. Wow. Are they they're, Burning Man? Tell me those would not be... I wonder if they like heat up man. and burn your real lashes off. No, because they're LEDs. But <gasps> there is a small battery pack that you go and you attach it and around the back of your ears. I'm getting those for Burning Man. Those would be so cool. I think they're a little creepy. No, can you put that picture up again, Brandon? That was amazing. I want to see this, F this guy. He lashes. Was F lashes. Uh -huh. Thank you, sweetheart. Oh, look at him. He's Oh, he looks adorable. I want those. How many colors does it come in? Does it Five. Say? Do they rotate? or? You can set them so they flash different colors and then... I know, think I'd get a migraine if I did that. I think you'd give someone a, a, a seizure. If Those you did are that. so epic. Anyway, it's at one of these design shows. And the Maker look, Faire he's, he in got the area. Yeah. Editor's Choice. He got an award for it. Yeah, because it's cool. It, well, it is cool. It's a little strange. Oh, no, no. That's, I want them now. I want them really bad. Do you? No, I wouldn't wear them. I'm serious. I'd look at it. That, that's a little scary. Daisy, could you even see if you were clubbing with those things on? I don't know. I feel like maybe you'd get like a migraine a or seizure. a seizure. Hey, look, beauty is pain, all right, people? Don't do it, kids. Oh, so Spe speaking of pain. Experimental time. We, you know, if you've been doing this, we have a long-running competition with Daisy because she's from England that she'll try a British boot for us and we have to see what we think and then we'll give her a long-held American love. So far, she's dug the pineapple Fanta and the Funyuns, which genuinely shocks both I think of you us. said pine nipple. Pineapple. <laughs> okay. Fanta. Napple. So here's the deal, the beef stick jerky. You've never had this before? No, I haven't. Oh, it's delicious. But, All right. but after I eat it, I'm going to go to jacklinks.com. <laughs> that just that doesn't sound good, does it? i going to wait until yeah. I get home for that yeah, one. Yeah, probably for the best. Jay, can you come home? I want to go to jacklinks.com. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take a bite. See what you think. All right. It's just like it's like pepperoni on a pizza. Oh, it is. Okay. Um, what? Because it, oh. <laughs> okay. What? Yeah. I think this might be like a ghost pepper where it has like a second layer to that's it. That's the beast that's, mode. That's second layer. Of try it, this is the beast mode uh, yeah. right here. <laughs> oh, you know what? That's. Are you, feel, are you feeling the burn? A um, little bit. Yeah. I did. I did oh. not like hot food, and we actually had to go try the ghost pepper, the habanero pepper, the pizza crust up at the pie. Remember that? Yes. I drank an entire quart of milk. Let's not talk about it. Let's enjoy, oh, shall okay. we? Hey, it's Todd and Aaron here for GetPartDaily.com. When it comes to pizza, the pie is the only place, the only place in Utah where you take yeah, your wait, friends. Yeah, but wait, wait. There is something diabolical going on, and we're gonna go test it out. Let's something go. dark. Let's go. I thought it was way too hot. Thank you very much. Including the unpleasant effects of diarrhea and or vomiting. Water doesn't help, by the way. No, water doesn't help. More beef and more linguine on it. Is that helping you? There's a lingering effect, the fiery effect. If you wake up at four in the morning, you remember the waiver you signed. Burns on, burns on, burns on both ends. <laughs> Several years ago, my little brother ordered an actual raw ghost pepper through the mail. Palmer's the co-owner and the chef at the Pie Pizzeria, and he is the man with the plan when it comes to menu items. And I thought it'd be funny to, to put it in some biscuits, and instead of people like hating it and being mad at me, they loved it. Palmer says it was this event that inspired a fiery culinary creation. It's actually not a pie, it's a special dough and uh, it's called the Apocalypto. <laughs> no oil, we grind them up, they're ground up ghost peppers. 
Now, ghost peppers, according to Pepperhead.com, are the seventh hottest peppers in the world. They come in at over a million SHU, or Scoville heat units. Now, to compare, a jalapeno comes in at only 8,000. Our uh, cooks actually wear masks and gloves when they make this pizza dough. In fact, this dough is so hot, you have to sign a waiver before it even touches your lips. And could trigger stronger intestinal contractions and discomfort. But Palmer did not ignore taste for the sake of spiciness. It actually makes the food taste better. I mean, the heat of it is actually pretty mild. You can get a pizza, you can get calzone. Um, probably the hottest form is the breadsticks, the pull-aparts. Yeah, those are coming out of the oven here real soon. After a little egging on, we decided to give it a shot. Okay, Bob. See? How you doing, hon? You feel the endorphins? <laughs> I went to cheat, so I brought some milk. There you go. Right out of the jug. Both of you are sweating, you know that, right? Uh -huh. oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was painfully delicious, but I could only get through two bites. Regular patrons like Isaac Hart say, I thought it was a little too gimmicky and too hot, but the recipe has tamed a little bit. At first, we, we did different things, which, which made it too hot. We wanted it to be hot enough <laughs> that it would live up to the name, but not so hot that people wouldn't order it. Believe it or not, people actually love it. Well, there you go. That wasn't so bad. Are you kidding? No. All right, this is the Apocalypto, and you can only get it at the pie, all the locations. And this is the ghost pepper crust that probably has finished off my esophagus. Cheers. See, I didn't think, I liked it. I you really like did. You like hot food, though. I don't like, I don't like food based on but a dare. It, it was warm. I'm sorry, it I don't. It wasn't hot. That's a green light kitten. Everyone, go. Green light, green Please. Means go. Green means We're go. It's a oh road trip. Gosh. All right, coming up next, you guys. Um, ooh, oh, yeah, this is the perfect the, Fourth of July food. My brisket. It's Todd's epic brisket. Oh, and something in your pool that will kill you. I feel like one of those anchor oh, people no. on the late news right. that always tries to terrify you into watching longer. It will kill your children if you don't stay with us. It's coming up next. We're brought to you this morning by Executive Transportation. Elegant service, professional style. Go to executiveutah.com. And All Utah Plumbing. Your home deserves the best. 24-hour emergency service at allutahplumbing.com. And also by Columbus Travel. If you go to columbusvacations.com, you can sign up for a weekly newsletter that always has great last-minute deals on hotels, airfare, cruises, and more. Did you know you can catch the Todd and Aaron Morning Stream any time of the day or night on Facebook, YouTube, and SoundCloud, and GetParDaily.com? So, D Daisy, you're supposed to be saying, are we there yet? Oh, are we there yet? <laughs> no. <laughs> when I, so when I was little, I, one thing I did with my dad was like when we were on this, that I was very like OCD when I was a kid. Right. And one, something that we would do when we were on the tube in London is I would say, Dad, how many stops? How many stops? Like how many stops until we got to our destination? Oh, I think that's cute. And he'd count up and he'd be like, six. And I, then I'd be like, well, six and then ours or six in including ours. <laughs> how how is it you didn't time. get thrown under the third rail? Oh, I'm just curious. Oh my gosh, my dad was so patient. <laughs> Who does all the cooking in the house, you or Jay? Like when it comes to like the meat sort of is, grilled is there options? A third answer? <laughs> Take away, that's what the third <laughs> answer is. is. What do you store in your refrigerators? We, I think we that's... We actually both do cook, but more often than that, we. We, we do do takeaways quite often. I could see what her doing you sprouts guys? and yogurt. Are you kidding? For me, the kitchen is where the big cold box is. Really, Erin? You don't cook at all? I, I bake. I'll do some of the sweets and stuff. Mm -hmm. But I actually did manage to stick my thumb into our wand mixer one Christmas morning when I was trying to make him lemon bars and turned it on knowing my thumb was in, in the there. blades. Yeah. So I kind of stopped baking after that. Oh. Yeah, that's... I don't know either why it happened. It just... Post-traumatic baking syndrome I, now. Uh, or inexcusable stupidity, I'm, yeah. Anyway, the important thing is though, Todd does cook, and this brisket recipe is to die for. Have a look. Hi everybody, Todd here in the kitchen, and today is Beef Brisket 101. Why? Number one, if you've been one of these people who have never done a beef brisket, it's a monster. You've walked down the meat aisle and you've seen it, and every time you think, nah, I'm not gonna do that. Well, here is three easy steps to do this. Now, warning. In the English language, there are different phrases that will cause a fight. Number one is, which one of my sisters is hottest? Fight. Number two, I can't believe you voted for blank. Fight, MMA, octagon stuff. Three is, how do you cook a beef brisket? and the war will start. People hate me already for doing this video. Okay, so here's the deal. 
You can smoke them. You can brine them and smoke them. Some people put them in pressure cookers. Some put them in the oven. Some grill them. See what I mean? Then there's the rub that goes on top, and that's a whole nother fist fight. So today, three easy steps to cook the monster I call beef brisket. Step number one, take the following ingredients and stick them in a bowl. Two tablespoons of chili powder, two tablespoons of salt, one tablespoon of garlic powder, another tablespoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of black pepper, a tablespoon of sugar, two tablespoons of dry mustard, and one bay leaf. All right, it's time for the rub down. As you noticed, I have taken off some of the fat off the top. It's called the mantle. At least that's what I call it. And now you take your rub and you start doing it. You're going to do this on both sides. And you've noticed that I've dried it off so it doesn't liquefy. Kids like doing this. Make sure they wash their hands for God's sake. All right, flip it over. And this is step two, by the way. Two out of three. And that's how easy this is going to be. All right, there's the rest. All right, here is step three. It's a broiling pan. I didn't have one with legs, so I built it up with tin foil. And you simply take the brisket and put it in. Now that was step three, which includes putting it in the oven. All right, it's in the oven, uncovered at 350 for one hour. Then we drop it to 300. We're gonna cover it really tightly. And uh, well, I guess I'll see you in about eight hours. Okay, I think I really screwed up. I think I really screwed up. Uh, um, in my defense, in my defense, I've been smelling brisket for over six hours. Six hours! And the news crew, the film crew, they had to go and cover a story, and they left me here alone. Alone with, alone with it. And uh, let me show you. When I covered it and dropped the temperature to 300, before I did that, I put in some beef broth and water to about half an inch, and this is what we ended up with after six hours. This is the beef brisket. And the other thing about the camera crew not being able to come out was this is the other result is we have started eating it. Hope you like the recipe. More to come. Todd and Aaron, MorningStream, GetPartDaily.com. And see, that's it's pretty easy. It's pretty straightforward, you know? It's just a huge piece of oh, meat. That one. What, oh, are you, gosh. what are you eating now? The meat. Oh, no, that looks hot. I like don't want to do they that. Make it's lucky got that yogurty stuff on that really? I don't like. They make Lucky Charm cereal into a candy bar. Why? Why not? Yeah. Well, while you're eating, this you, might. You know, they also came out with Lucky Charms, but without the. I don't know which part's the Lucky, which I part is the, the Charms. The marshmallow but it's all marshmallows. Right, I know. And they said you can do it for free, and so I tried to apply, but it was like some sort of like 25 part process to get one. I was, I just, I'm just like, I'll go buy a bag you of marshmallows. You know, what? I found them at Marsh. I found them at Michael's last Christmas, just so you know. Really? Just the marshmallows. Oh, was that the one that you that you found them and you like were tucking them behind shelves? So exactly. Would, yeah. That would be me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no morals whatsoever. Calling your friends, being like, get down here. No. That is, by the way, the best trick ever. If you find something at the supermarket you want really bad, but you're saving it for a friend, go hide it in the sanitary feminine, feminine. supplies aisle right. behind the tampons because no one's going to look there. Well, it depends. Precise. Oh, oh, even better. Even no one's going to go there. Unless you get an octogenarian with a sweet tooth and then you're in trouble. Oh, and then you're in trouble. Because <laughs> for them, that's like one-stop shopping. Yeah, they're like, oh. All right. Okay. So a lot of people, a lot of people, it's the, it's, the, it's the vacation time. People want to cool off. It's been warm. What are they going to do? Where are they going to go? They're going to go to a pool. But wait a minute, mister. There's something in the water. Let's talk to the experts, shall we? Oh, no. This time of year again, yeah. where we have to worry, especially if you're gonna go in the water. Watch this. Cryptosporidium is a waterborne illness that can be contracted by ingesting or swallowing contaminated poopy water uh, by an infected person uh, that's basically crapped in that water. It gets into the water by a careless individual who is infected with the organism who actually has a diarrheal incident in the water 
And so then if anybody else comes along and accidentally swallows that contaminated poopy water that's infected with crypto, they can also come down with crypto. You can have a dirty rear end, and if those if tiny amounts of feces are rinsed off into that water with crypto, any person coming along who accidentally swallows a small amount of water can also become infected with cryptosporidium. Would that be the, uh, the scientific uh, explanation? That was uh, Rick Ledbetter, a swimming pool program supervisor mm, okay. for uh, Salt Lake County. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> but wait, there's more. No, no, no. Let me go through some facts oh, okay. first. Oh, yeah. okay. Sorry. So uh, basically, um, this is what happens if you get crypto. You get up to three weeks of diarrhea, stomach cramps, and fever. Now, according to the CDC, the number of cases has doubled since 2014. Outbreaks can occur in lakes, rivers, and ponds, and pools. And guess what? Chlorine doesn't kill crypto. So, but the good thing is, all the public pools and stuff like that, mm -hmm. they have put in UV um, uh, filters, that, filters kill, that kill some And of the that does kill it. So that's what they have to offer. Um, whoo, they had in 2007 that major outbreak. Yeah, I remember. But you know what? We remember can the bitterness of all of our children who could go nowhere? We can talk all we want, but what do we know? Are we supervisors of pools? No. We'll go back to the expert. Take their kids on, on frequent potty breaks, at least hourly. They need to check the diapers about every 30 minutes. And when they check the diapers and when they need to change those diapers, they need to do it in the toilet rooms or the restrooms in the diaper changing areas, not poolside. And when they get done, they also need to wash their hands, wash the rear end of their little child, uh, because again, the last thing that we need to do is to get contaminated crap into the water, which could then spread to others. Everybody needs to take a shower before they get into the pool and after taking potty breaks, because again, this is a microscopic organism that we'll never see, and everybody has tiny amounts of feces on their rear end, and that's why it's important uh, to take a shower, what we, we, what we would call a full cleansing shower with soap and water uh, to help prevent the spread of this at our public pools. Get your dirty bottom out of my pool. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's like, it's kind of like Bill Nye the Science Guy. Almost. Except for, he's a slang. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right, so parents, you, you, I'm saying nothing here. you heard what uh, you need to do. Why didn't he use scientific words for poop? Why? What? I liked his expression and his tone best, didn't you, Jason? Oh, yeah. He was like, well, there's dirty things in the water. Dirt, oh. Dirty bits. It's dirty <laughs> bits. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I was kind of waiting for the dry heat. Like, All right. Well, well, you know what? It's... So wh what are you going to be doing for the fourth? Now that you're back, your mom Jan's here. We you always got have a crisis because we're not sure what to do. I mean, I saw that at the ballpark, which is just near our house. Yeah. Um, there's fireworks and barbecue. So I suggested that to the whole family. You can't and, get more All-American. Well, and Jay, of course, is like, yeah, that's great. And then all the rest, like my sister was like, nope. She didn't even give a reason. She was just like, nope, I don't want to do that. And my mom's like, eh, don't want to do that. So I'm like, well, we can't do something British on, oh, I don't even know That what seems inappropriate, do. I know. Maybe you could have some sort of small, elegant party where everybody wore hats. So yeah. it was like Britain, but then you served brisket, so it seemed more American. Ooh, that sounds amazing. You guys are confusing me. I have both uh, hats and brisket if you want to invite let's, us. Let's... Perfect. I'd say let's do it. What are we going to do, baby? I, I'm, not, I'm just not going to talk to you guys anymore. Why? Because I'm just sitting over here not talking. Go ahead, honey. Okay. Share with the class. Well, now that we're done with swimming and poo, I thought maybe splash pads would be a nicer way to uh, end the show. Like a palate cleanser. Uh, don't don't like a put, sorbet. Your, put your mouth into the pool <laughs> to poo. Oh, that was disgusting. 
So anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining us on the Aubrey Quest Todd and Aaron morning stream road trip and uh, extravaganza special. You, you guys have a great day. And, right, guys? Right, right guys? guys? Right. Brandon, okay. Brandon, sit up. Okay. You're going to get car sick. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you later. I think it's very hot for Salt Lake City. Unusual. The sidewalk's burning. Ah, uh, seriously hot. <laughs> it's probably about 95 to 98 right now. For the end of June, probably a little warmer than normal. Yeah, pretty much the only thing to do on a day like today is get in some cold water. Brought my boys out just to get them out the house instead of them being in the house all day. I kind of hesitated a little bit bringing them out just because I know when it's this hot sometimes they get really sluggish and it's hard to tell you have to just keep giving them water but um, while they're playing out in the water they seem to be fine as long as their body temperature is cool I'm okay with bringing them outside the little one is in SPF 50 sun um, oh my gosh what is it swimsuits and same with the older one and we've all been sunblocked up I've got a timer on my Fitbit in 80 minutes I know I need to apply more sunscreen on the kids umbrella hat sunscreen lots of water just keep an eye on them keep them cool uh, make sure they get a lot of water you know keep vitamin C in them and make sure you got uh, whatever sunscreen you need to put on the kids when you get hot they're hot so you just gotta keep reminding yourself that you need to give them 